Hello, Hello my dudes. Hello, <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe to follow along. We just had a first sip of our coffee. It's actually afternoon. We had an instant coffee this morning, but mm. you gotta get one of these. Oh, this hits the spot. And it's from the coffee beans that are made just like a few hours from here. So. Where we were actually at in Paxi, the Bonavent Plateau. There's actually a biking loop that we didn't do. We'll have to come back to Laos because there's a lot to do. Speaking of which, to do today is to explore the beautiful capital of Vientiane. We're only here for a day, so we're gonna explore it, hopefully go to a night market tonight, and then we'll be hitting the road again tomorrow. There it is, the Patusai Arch. Which, if you look up Ventian on Google, it is the first thing that comes up for what to see and do in the city. So obviously, we're starting there. Oh. But you look at that, it's starting to rain. We are going into monsoon season, so we're gonna expect more rainy days. But that being said, we're gonna go stand under the archway so we don't get the camera wet. Safe for now. Hopefully it just passes by and then we can keep exploring. We didn't bring our rain jackets, but we have the dry sack for the camera, and that's what's most important. Okay, so this is a Tushai gate or Arc de Triomphe of Ventian because it resembles the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. It is dedicated to the people that fought for independence against France. It's obviously the Laotian take with beautiful design. And I just learned the name for these little half female, half bird mythological creatures. They're called Kinari. It was also built between 1957 and 1968. Looks like it stopped raining. Yes, we can walk into the day again. Also, Look how our beautiful this is. plan was to actually go to the top and pay the money to mm. get the view. But I think this place has seen better days. It's either days. not open anymore or it's case. just Sunday. I think it's because it's not open anymore. But it could be because it's Sunday. Either way, we're going to continue adventuring. We're now in the main fountain. Right here. That's not on. It's not on. This is the Prime Minister's office right there. We're like downtown loud. Neat. Etienne, capital city of this country. Speaking of this country and the capital, let's go check out the museum or the visitor center. Go a 20 minute walk that way, learn more about Lao culture and Lao people. Boom, now we're in a beautiful, serene Buddhist temple the called Wat Dat Tapun. Coming in here, like I think maybe because of the trees and less hot pavement. It's funny because the second it gets cloudy and the sun sort of gets hidden, it's quite nice. Actually, it's the least warmth we've felt in a while. Yeah. But then the sun hits you and you're like, woo, spicy. This is way, 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 way more beautiful than I was expecting. Like there's so much detail and the coloring and the little tiny like glistening silver behind the gold. And this was just a random thing. We didn't have this flag. It's we were just like, this is a shortcut. Wow. I think the light shining on it like so perfectly right now, it's making it sort of like, just, oh, it's oh, just oh, glowing. Oh. Yeah, holy. Temples on temples on temples. Man, Southeast Asia's got some beautiful temples. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> And now we are walking through a spice market, which has turned into uh, an electronics market. So it smelled good a second ago, really good actually. Yeah, they were like nice smelling spices yeah. on our walk to the Coke. That's why if you can handle the heat, I do love walking because you see parts of the city that you would normally not get We do see. miss the walking component, although I think it's still warm, but it's cooler, so we're able to uh, explore the city by foot. Yes. Looks like we found the nice buildings and the Cineplex and the malls. Yes, and it is starting to rain, so we may or may not put the camera away until we get to our next location. Eight minute walk this way, we're right, walking right into it. We didn't quite make it, I don't know if you can hear that. We found an outdoor food court though, which is pretty cool, right beside the mall. The play go? is Explore, as the day goes by, eh? Yeah. Should we go into the mall while we wait, or just chill here? We do whatever our heart desires. <laughs> Let's go check out the mall. First impressions of this mall, I don't love how closed off it is. You know how usually you walk into the doors and you can like high ceilings and see all the stores? 
this feels like a maize malt, which they're my least favorite kind. I'm not a huge malt fan in general, but I don't like when it's just like a bunch of stores and you can't really tell where you're going or see the outside. It's like, like a market, right? All right, found my open area. And the rain is now coming down really hard, so I think we're gonna be hanging out here for a few minutes. We've decided to brave it. It's not raining anymore. Okay, see you there. So this is the Cove Visitor Center, which we were told to visit by some friends as well as on all the sites it says visit here. I believe it's about the landmines, um, the history of the landmines here and people that were hurt with it, so it might be a bit sad, but we should go check it out. So we learned COPE actually stands for Cooperative Orthopedic and Prosthetic Enterprise. So it's an organization that helps rehabilitate uh, people that were hit or hurt by the bombs, as well as it's a foundation so you can donate to it, which is really neat. Right, a little serious here. So this is a visitor center about teaching the world and the community about the landmines that still exist here in Laos. It turns out Laos, to this day, is the most heavily bombed country Number in one the world. Number one most bombed country in the world. And that is due to the United States. Um, the American War, as they call it in Vietnam. Vietnam um, or war. the Secret War, also it was called. Yeah, so one of those things, the cluster bombs, they're actually not landmines. They're like, how many pellets? See those like orange-sized things hanging from the ceiling? Those are all individual bombs that can clear Tennis, two tennis courts, mm -hmm. like if explosive. And it also said that about 30% of them didn't detonate, yeah, and that's 10 to 30%. why to this day there's still areas that they're trying to clear from these bombs because they're still undetonated bombs. Because to clear people in Laos. can strike them when they're plowing their, Rice their fields, fields said, or, or cooking. Kids can find them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's still causing a lot of lasting effects. <sighs> So there's another component to this museum is the fact that people live and use the materials from the war themselves. So here, this knife is made from cluster bomb casing. There's like parachute casing, there's fuel tanks that they made boats out of fuel tanks. Over here, they use ammunition casings to make the stilts on the house, or they use the ammunition, ammunition to make good ladders as well. Kind of like reusing the materials that were part of the war and they're everywhere, littered with ammunition and war garbage. Well, I'm quite happy that we went there because I didn't know any of that at all. And it's pretty devastating. But I'm happy to see that there's a lot of effort, humanitarian effort, to, uh, to help out and educate the people about this serious issue that's been here since the 70s. Yeah, as well as to help clean it up so that Lao can clean again a boss. Definitely. Anyways. We have more to see of Ventian, so we're going to go try and find a tuk-tuk to go to a temple. Let's do it. To the temple. Ugh. So we got in a tuk-tuk because it's about a 10 minute drive to the temple we want to go see. We got it for 50 kip, which is what, like $5 kip? So the thing is, with tuk-tuks in Laos, there's actually no apps. There's no grab, there's no pass app like we've had in Cambodia and Malaysia and Thailand. You have to sort of bargain every time and it's kind of a pain. And obviously you don't want to undercharge them because you, know, you feel bad. It's only a few bucks, but it's a pain to bargain, I will say. As a, as a Westerner, it's like, okay, we gotta do this. Neat, we even got it cheaper because we didn't have the exact change, so, haha, <laughs> budgets. We made it! All this right. is the biggest temple in the area. What? That Luang. Oh, nice! I think I got it. That Tat Luang, if I'm saying that properly, is the National Monument of Laos, or one of the most impressive and religious sacred monuments. It was originally founded in the 3rd century AD, but then when the capital was moved from Luang Prabang to Ventian in 1566, it was rebuilt here and also undergone many uh, reconstructions, renovations, because it was destroyed by the Thai, or the Burmese, the Siamese, and in the war and all that jazz. So it's been rebuilt many times, still sitting here. Oh, you look great. This humidity has been doing wonders to my hair. You look great though. <laughs> Taking a bit of a breather, folks. It's still warm here. Taking our time. Wow. 
That smells like clean house. Mm. Wow. This, what kind of flower is this? I love it. All right, goodbye, serene, beautiful park with temples. Folks, we're being cheapo Keith and Dev because we're not gonna pay and bargain five bucks for a tuk-tuk. So instead we're gonna walk for 40 minutes. Hey, it's good exercise. And yeah, I guess that's the truth. And it's sunny again, so we're not gonna get rained on. <laughs> it's the truth. All right. Here's a good way to start our walk. A searing hot parade square, I think. <laughs> so, okay, we got this. Positive attitude. Oh no, it's good. But this is, I must be a parade square, because it's kind of like this big huge, empty. Huge, huge, huge. Yeah. Whatever it is. I'm sure, if you know. Oh. Oh, Said my foot's okay though. That's good. If you know what this is, let us know. In the comments below. Quickly, we wanted to mention we wore shirts to cover our shoulders and pants because we wanted to be respectful going to temples today, but no one else was. Other people were wearing shorts and t-shirts, so I don't know if they just didn't know the rules or what the rules are here, but we're both sweaty now. showered and now we're back ready to go downtown to find some food there's a night market by the water but not just that I do want to see the Sun setting with the brewski along the Mekong and we're yeah we're just gonna go see the nightlife downtown and just like that we made it to the market area Sun is setting. I think we're gonna get a glimpse of it, which is cool. Yeah, we're gonna go walk rivers along over the here. River and watch the sunset. But yeah, there's like clothing stuff set up. But we want to find food. That's the goal. That's the that's the goal. But I'm sure we're not gonna have trouble finding food. <laughs> It actually looks so cool today. We can see the whole sun, but it's going behind the clouds, so we're gonna it's try and get it. It's tucking in. We gotta walk quick. Oh my god, it's so round and orange. Yeah, it's beautiful. Holy oh, moly. Oh. Well, at least we caught the end of it there. Yep, at least we caught the end of it. And by the way, the river is over there. There's also another little food market here, so we're gonna go check that out and see if there's anything we fancy. Uh oh, decision time. <laughs> Honestly, all these food stalls look great. I will note though, I wanna say, and I've told you this before, it's weird how much seafood there is here because it's really landlocked. <laughs> but there's like tons of seafood options. It's like, where is that coming from? And how long has it been? A little spinny refresher thing caught my attention, so I got myself a little brewski. It wasn't at sunset, but it's fine, I'll go with dinner. Which, by the way, we know what we want. These skewers over here. Is that a good amount? Yeah. Would you want to try these ones too? The mushrooms? Sure. That's two mushrooms. Tofu. So this is a chicken? Yeah. Yes. Two medium chicken? Yeah. Back to the night market dinners. This is so fun. We it's also done this cute in a while. here. Look at this little table. Oh, I almost yeah. feel like. The comfiest night market. It's been super chill, well lit, nice tables, and the food looks appetizing. Even the bugs. And delivery as well for a table. Chicken skewers, medium spice. Alright, let's see how spicy that is, buddy. To puke. It's great. And it's very light and the spice. Excellent. That's really excellent. And our other skewers are here. Mmm. It's a really nice sauce. Yeah. And this is also a sauce covered mushroom wrapped with bacon, which we've had in Chiang Mai, actually. Ooh, but not like with barbecue. sauce. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's a nice sauce. Fine. Spicy. I felt like a good Salty. spice. Mm -hmm. Mushrooms are great like that. Wrapped in bacon is a good touch. So that was great, but I think we need a bit more food. So Keith is gonna go find us some kind of noodle, a rice dish, I think. Delivery? 
Ooh, what do we got, Keith? We got ourselves the large noodles. I forget what they're called, actually. Uh, with egg and chicken, I believe, and some bok choy. Noodle and egg. Cold. That's okay. Cabbage is nice. <laughs> We're actually really enjoying these noodles. This is how you find the deals at Night Marcus. This whole thing that we've been going at for a bit was only 20 kip. Also, if you're a beer guy or a beer gal, the beer here, Beer Lao, which is a very classic name, <laughs> is great. I like it more than the Cambodia and the Anchor beer. Oh, yeah? Uh -huh. creative names, but I was gonna say. I was gonna say, like, yeah, it makes the most sense. It's called Beer Lao. Beer in Lao. We had to. What did you get? I got a mango sticky rice because we haven't seen it anywhere other than Thailand until we got to Lao and we had it in Dong Dead. It was amazing, so we had to get it again for dessert. It was 30 kip for mango sticky rice here. Look at this tea. My mouth is watering. Is it great? It is great. It's incredible. It's incredible. It's my favorite food, I think. Friggy. Yeah. <laughs> it's like whenever we have a chance to get it's this, it's a safety. We need to eat it all it's the time. It's like it's everything that we need. And it's safe and it's tasty and it's sweet and it's desserty and it hits a spot every time, man. A nice night market dinner. Keith and I realized we, this might be an unpopular opinion, but we don't know how much we actually love night markets because for us it just means a lot of decision making and we don't know what's good and what's not good. But the one thing we do know is mango sticky rice is always a good call. Always a good call. Always a good call. So we'll probably eat at more and get lots more mango sticky rices. And also, again, that place, well, across the street here, we'll talk to you. That place also had good food, good presentation. It was not, it was not um, unappealing or sus, suspicious. So now we're gonna walk down the clothing market to make our way. Making back our to way town. downtown, back into downtown. <laughs> It's like an outdoor mall. Okay, here's a here's another thought. I'm blown away by how many little market <gasps> stalls that are here that sell the exact same thing: shoes, sunglasses, clothes, sh shirts, shorts. It's like and bags. It's like Watches. how many can you have? And how are they making money if everyone sells them? If there's like a million shops that are the same everywhere? Like it just blows me away. Good for them for making it a viable business, but how? <laughs> We're still walking here, folks. It's still going. It's still going. It is a big maybe shopping it's a Sunday night mall. Because I don't know if it's every night. So maybe oh, that must be lucky. it. Must and be it. There's just a lot of shops open today. So much clothes. <laughs> We made it to the end. We found it. It was guarded by that uh, heavy security the there. Little girl the little girl forth. going that back so and adorable. forth. That was really cute. So I think we're going to wrap up our day in Ventian, but that was great. Yeah, honestly, another beautiful day of exploring the world, mm -hmm. probably. So thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in our next one. See you soon. Okay. Yeah. Go, bud. Look, look. Yeah, looking good. Thank you. My sense of direction is usually good. And I'm drinking coffee, so I'm too busy to check my map. I think we're going this way. If not, then we're turning around and we're wasting time. <laughs> Could be here all day just looking at this thing. Keith's gonna be here all day looking at it. I might as well take a seat. <sighs> all right, Grandpa. Going in the shade with the breeze. It's nice. Look at, look at all these crazy tables. How are they supported? Is that safe? Well, who knows? But it works. This guy's got a tiny head <laughs> compared to his biceps. <laughs> Maybe I have a big head compared to my biceps. Hmm.